unified members of Tayo, our business association of Nagas Noilu, Tibupar Youth Organization, Kundo Twitter, Tujun Manuge, NSCN, Niki Kupa, Apta Kurishe, on 10th of October 2024, Itula Oporde Luigana, Aji, on 11th of October 2024, Tibupar Our Youth Organization Forum La Office, the press conference, Tagulese, to Ivy Itula Oporde Luina, a press conference in one size. As you must be aware that since the unfortunate incident that involved the abduction of two of our members and the extortion intimation given to one of our entrepreneurs, there has been some reports already in the print media as well as in the social media and today we would like to just uh, brief on the decisions that we have been continuously having since this morning and I would like to give this time to my colleagues and friends uh, who would also highlight on this issue. A very good evening and thank you so much to all the media fraternity. The incidents which happened yesterday, the unfortunate incidents which our leaders have mentioned earlier, these two persons are from the Divo Bar and then they are very much like one of the members of Divo Bar. In this, related to this, we have lodged a fire yesterday to East Police Tana Station and then you know, we are waiting for a positive response, hopefully, and we pray and hope that we'll get a positive response from the police Istana station. Thank you. Well, good evening. My name is uh, Akam Jamir. I'm the convener of Caribbean Sale Business Association of Nagas. Uh, thanks to all the media friends and season's greetings to all the viewers. Why we are here together today is to discuss on what we are going to do next. We have been seeing these kind of issues and uh, many a time uh, the police finds it difficult to act because of uh, NNPG's uh, national political group's involvement. Uh, what happens is, usually uh, police find it difficult to go inside any camp, designated camps, because of the restriction from the MHA. Now, uh, we have given, in fact, we have given deadline to the police for 48 hours, which expires tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And we appeal to all the uh, Naga youths and different organizations that uh, at this hour, we need your support, so we will be telling you a time and a place by tomorrow where we will meet. In case the culprits are not caught, we will have a meeting and discuss about the course of action by tomorrow evening. We will uh, let you know the venue and the time by tomorrow. Now, one question that comes to my mind here is, according to the ceasefire ground rules, uh, clause 15, uh, I would just like to read out. It is actually a message for uh, Lieutenant General Amarjit Singh Petty. Uh, clause 15 says, security forces will retain the right to enforce measures necessary to uphold public safety and prevent any disturbance to peace. Here, when it comes to uh, those parties involved in ceasefire talks about any uh, crime activities, the police become helpless. They are trying to, we, we are in constant touch with them, they are trying to pace, but because of the restriction of entering to the game, they are not being able to extract those people that are involved. So, a message to our uh, ceasefire monitoring group uh, chairman, you will be held responsible if the police cannot extract them tomorrow and if public decides to take its own course of action. Thank you. We all know that the ceasefire was signed between the government of India 
and the NSCN K Nikki on 8th of September 2021. Just a month ago, it was again reviewed. We know specifically in the ceasefire ground rules in clause F, it clearly states that the cutters will be confined to their designated camps. But in this case, the culprits, the perpetuators, were out of the designated camp when they abducted the two victims. We also know that in Klaus L, it is written that they will not carry out extortion, forceful collection of money and supplies, and intimations of individuals. But in this case, it has been unfortunately so. So we believe that this ground rules have been breached and for any breach of law befitting punishment as per the law of the land should be given. It has been our sincere appeal to the law enforcing agency to see to it that the perpetrators are booked under relevant laws. In fact, whoever they are, be it any member of the Naga political groups, once they are the lawbreakers, it does not give them immunity against crime or extortion or any such intimating activities carried out to any members of the public. Today it may be members from a particular community, but today we fight for the citizens of Nagaland, particularly the business community, youths, and the citizens of Dimapur. It is not new that on the 6th of August this year, when the public rally was held, spearheaded by the Angami Youth Organization, where all the youth apex body have spoken, condemned, and has written to the governor on all these issues, they have not abided by it. We have told in public that enough is enough, that public will no longer be mute spectators. We have also written in our press releases to our members that they should be ready for any eventualities as and when the Karen call is made. Tomorrow, as and when the cease the deadline ends by evening as it deem fit and when the Dimapur All Youth Organization appeal to all the unit members, appeal to all the able youth bodies to be ready for any eventualities, but as we live among various communities, we are in touch and in consultation with other tribal apex youth body leaders. And I believe that together we will be able to see some changes. Enough of talk, enough of press releases, enough of public release. It's time that if we want to bring changes in our land, we should stand united together. And 
see that changes happens for our land. So with the business situation of Nagara, see this type of scenario situation is not happening for the first time. We have been running around, but no, always such like this situation happens. So um, you know, with the business situation of Nagara, we stand solidarity and stand for each other to the Nagas of diaspora registered under us. Now today what's happening is, it's happening in our region, within Nagaland and within Timbuktu. So we encourage all the communities, despite of the businesses, students or any profession, we should come and stand and show our solidarity. Thank you. We can raise any questions if you have. Uh, what time is the deadline ending? Technically, it's 4 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so this is a joint statement from which organization? Uh, joint statement we have here. Okay, let me start with me. I'm from Business Association of Nagas, me and my friend Trongli. And then she uh, we have uh, the different units of Dayo represented by the Chumukitima Aoyo organization, the Foothill Aoyo organization, and also we have the Dibubar Aoyo forum, and I'm also representing as the president of the Dimakor Aoyu organization. And, uh, so, yeah. so Dibubar Aoyu, uh, Nagayu organization. Dibubar Aoyu. Dibubar Aoyu. Dibubar Nagayu organization is also involved. And uh, the victim, the victim is a registered member of Business Association of Nagas, as well as a bona fide member of the Dibubar Nagayu. For the victims. For the victims. Yes, yes. 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 As well as the owner. So, do you keep their identity confidential? As of now, it is confidential, but uh, in due time of uh, when it is required, they are willing to stand for witness. So, how were they released? With the intervention of the police, no doubt, after the fire was launched. No. How many were involved? Do you have any idea? It might be more than two. So you sure it's uh, the culprits were from the NAC and like Nikki? As per the phone conversation and as per the game that you were taken to. So what was the amount of the demand? The amount has not been discussed, but this amount, uh, it has been provided uh, to the camp. Yeah. This has been going on since the shutter down that <coughs> happened under the DCCI and the CNCCI, where the appeal was made by the Naga Council that uh, until there is one government, one tax, no one should be paying taxes. So. Uh, after that, shutter down and the intervention of the Naga Council, this incident happened in the month of uh, since the month of May. So were they were the civilian soldiers? Were As per the statement them? made by them to the police, uh, <laughs> they have not been. There has been no assault, physical assault. So earlier you said you appeal the youths, like I'm assuming you are appealing to the our youths to be ready for any consequences or any uh, upshots as a result of this event. So uh, what type of you know, event or what type of reaction are you expecting if the police don't meet the deadline? Let me answer to that. Can you 
any picket violence? We are nobody to take law in our own hands, number one. We, we expect the government to do justice to this, but when the system fails, we will have to stand for ourselves. So we don't want to discuss anything of what will happen. That's why only we are calling for consultation of all the uh, Naga youth organizations, and then we will decide. We also should remember that we live in a democratic society where we have our own right to protest. So we will use all possible democratic means in our first phase. Uh, let me also clarify the, regarding this topic of <coughs> taking the uh, action. See, we have had a conference a meeting with the police many years back for community policing. And that is why we are uh, our organization, especially uh, the Tayo and Business Association of Nagas, we collaborate with the police whenever there is issues. We approach the police, and um, we have faith in them that uh, they will bring uh, this uh, thing to a conclusion. But the technical problem that we are hearing about now is about the extraction of the uh, suspected culprits involved. They are suspected to be inside a game or maybe hidden somewhere, which I uh, would like to say that. Maybe, maybe, after going through the ceasefire crown rules, it is amusing that the police cannot enter the designated camps. So who is responsible? It, it is the government of India. They are protected and uh, maybe we will uh, consider filing an FIR against the ceasefire crown rules uh, chairman also. Because uh, they are, call it, harboring uh, criminal activities, uh, terrorists. <coughs> See, this is not the first time we are witnessing such a option and an explosion. In the, in the history of Nagas, this is also not the first time. If any kind of incident happened, there will be a press conference, press release. So, this time, is it just about the press conference and giving press then about ability to initiate some very really effective action that will be the beginning of the change for the future development of Nagas? Uh, as earlier stated, we lived among our tribal brothers, fellow tribal brothers, who feel equally concerned for this menace of unabated taxation, illegal extortion, kidnapping, abduction, and all these dead threats. So I think we have come to a saturation point and Naga movement having its right in the people, I think the youths, the Naga youths should take the responsibility of not taking law into their own hands but stand up for the rights and out of the so many <coughs> factions that is literally increasing is because of this illegal taxation and somewhere someone somehow we must together come together to put a stop to this and our action will be based on all the consolations that we have with our fellow youth boys uh, let me let me just clarify one thing to all the national political workers don't think that we are against Naga National Movement, nor against any true national political workers. We are against extortionists, we are against criminals, we are against kidnappers, we are against those people who are uh, asking for ransom. So please don't mix this with Naga National Movement or Naga political history. Excuse me, I just wanted to ask you something. Uh, the vehicles and the things that were recovered uh, yesterday by the police persons, right? So, uh, exactly what time and from where have the vehicles and the things have been recovered? The vehicle, they, as far as information, the vehicle, they recovered from the same place where they have been net, and the two persons they have released and uh, they like 
Dar dar în joi nu cum ce ești. Să 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 fai. Sir, in regard with the Armenian Morgan mentioned Quran is not ceasefire ground rules la close la via mangi să dai de jama nu cum ești. Tot o pode Armenian idu MHC e o libi. Government of India e o libi are rostet government and e idu proper implementation cu ole Armenian keeping cu bun jas. Abahan 6 august do apel gorina governor kiliki dise amakan kwan isna sob jat mix gorina thaga jaga se di mapuro etu bra amakan etu kalibra loigena amakan etu consultation gorigena the appropriate authorities kan ge amakan yut kan do itu no pare etia tak to amakan ki thagi she but our patients are running out gorigena amakan bi we will take our decisions and based on those collective decisions amma kan be step by step action lo bo koi kena ithu laga do only time will tell secondly gd you call with ke police pro libi nele do drug bringing arrest ko shule do apni gan kun concern faction kana je national workers kana je ithu gan na ra पब्लिक they should also acknowledge if some of their erring cadres have gone above the law uh simple as this tagana group laga eto gan action lo bole kobole do mugam ta dekho nai but we uh, leave it up to the law system that is uh, prevailing here in india we we believe that it has a very strong uh, article to care all of them also uh, the other thing is सदी बैगन रेसपेक्टेड नेशनल पॉलिटिकल वर्कर्स कंट्री कब मन जाओ सीज फायर ग्राउंड रूल्स तो ना पीछे डिफेक्टिव आज इत मडिफाई कर लगे इन आज मईगान मईगान छगड़ा करबले ला स्टेज पुंजी आज मईगान मईगान एक्शन एक्शन के खेदा खेदी कर ला स्टेज पुंजी आज आई थिंक यू ऑल शुड किव अ थट एंड सीट टूगेदर एंड ट्राई टू मेक दिस रिव्यू दिस सीज फायर ग्राउंड रूल्स otherwise acting in the time i hope manola ka program grand jana manola program di mangan kiye bole la time aaye ase ko nai e to political workers ko bhi ek ta message di mangan ase tomohan press conference huni banish na mohan janu bai she ki police kan ge 48 hours deadline di shukse kun ba apta ko she ta han ge thurule karne aro idu 48 hours to gushi gule kali evening that is 4 pm idu time de khatam ho go she aro idu macho de ta han idu कलपुट के थ्रुले पारा ना गुले तो तहान कैसे कि लो तो अफकोर्स तहान हाथ तेदो न लो गई हलु तहान तहान निजो कारण स्टेन गुरु गई एना और अलग अलग यूथ अर्गेनाइजेशन खान नई लु नई लु स्टूडेंट बडीज खान नई लु अलग अर्गेनाइजेशन खान की तहान एपील गई है कि तहान लो दे स्टेन गुरे और कि की रिजल्ट हो इतु कारण भी रेडी थे तहान इतु कला आम जानू पाई दिस इज सुमी सिमा फोर नागल न्यूज नेटवर्क